So we decided to split up. We are where we said we would meet, but Michael's not here. So I actually have no idea what to do. We've decided it's gonna be a year of firsts for our family. A few months ago, we went for our first ever winter hike in the Rocky Mountains near our home here in Alberta, Canada. Now we're headed to a different area of the Rockies, to Canmore, Alberta, to do our first ever bike trip. But first, we have to take a very long detour all the way down to Montana to pick up our brand new electric trike. We made it through the border. Fit that in the bus. I'm riding it. How are we gonna fit it in the bus? Okay. Good morning! We drove really late last night to get here with all our stops and waiting at the border. It was a lot later than we thought, but we made it and look at this view. This is what we woke up to. For those of you that have never been in the Rocky Mountains, when you drive into them at nighttime, you cannot tell you're in the mountains at all. And then you get to wake up to this. It's amazing. So we're gonna head to get some breakfast while we wait for the thrift store to open because we have to find one more bike before we can go biking. Once we do that, we're hitting the trails. So excited. We have never gone biking in the mountains before. Just like in our last video, or maybe two videos ago, we had never gone winter hiking in the mountains. That was a first. This year's gonna be a lot of firsts for us. So first time biking in the mountains and I cannot wait. Mojo bike, it's amazing, it's so cool. And look at this, it now becomes our lunch table. We got our snacks, we got our drinks, we got our Lara bars, 
Oh, and we got tools just in case. And the Emojo actually sent all the tools you need for tightening and whatever. Oh, and we got our air, air pump just in case. Mom, get this off And a cooling device. <laughs> okay, we got our granola bars. And our nuts and our drinks. So we can make it back oh, to, the, to, get that one? to the schoolie. All right, so take your bar. That's yours. Mm -hmm. I'll take Didn't you get a bar? Yes. So baby, this time will be gone forever. Never in a lifetime will you see us back here again. So come before it's too late. Hurry now, cause I can't wait. Let's put on our anthem. We'll be singing all night long. Oh, baby, this time will be gone forever. Never in a lifetime will you see us back here again. Did you hear me? Air. Allen keys. Red. Flat head screwdriver. Prime tool for a tube. I doubt they can hear you with the traffic. A wrench. <laughs> a Phillips. Another dry tool. Emmy, how was it? I think you can Is that fun? Put your bike Levi. Was that fun? Yeah. So come here, I'll show you. Yeah, okay. Guess what? He was going 70 miles per hour and I kept up. <laughs> wow. Oh. But she's short. She's short. <laughs> I am not. Did you hear me? What I you said? Very good. You said something about your shoe getting caught? Yeah, it caught. Are we wanting so to I'm inside. It caught. It caught. I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, Jesse's oh, bike can make him That's scary. That was a lot of fun. Michael and I took turns on the trike. We're going to ride into town now and get some lunch. Everybody's a little bit hungry. Canmore is amazing. They have bike trails all over town. So we can just ride right into town, go get some lunch. So we were a little bit concerned about the kids being able to ride all the way to town and then back to the bus. So we decided to split up and Michael went and got the bus and he was going to drive it to town near where we were going to eat lunch. And I brought the kids to bike in. So then they didn't have to bike all the way back, but they still wanted to keep going. So we are where we said we would meet, but Michael's not here. And it took us a lot longer to get here than I expected. So I would have thought he'd have been here by now. Now, there isn't actually any parking here. So I don't know where he ended up having to park. So I don't know if he found parking and then came here and we weren't here and he was worried about us. And now he's looking at other places or if he's still looking for parking and then trying to get himself here. So I actually have no idea what to do. But anyways, we found some shade and an empty tennis court. <laughs> so the kids are running around, having fun. We have our water bottles. It's really, really beautiful, like hot for Canada, but not hot compared to some places we've been. So it's just, it's nice. And on a completely random other note, I have gotten so many comments riding through town about my really cool bike. Everybody loves it. So um, even while I'm like whizzing past on a bike and they're like, cool bike. So that's kind of fun. But anyways, um, hopefully we're not lost for too long. Thankfully the kids aren't too hungry and we still have some uh, kettle roasted peanuts. So we have those in our water. We're good to hang out for a bit. Just hopefully Michael isn't stressed wondering where we are. I might see him.
that was a super, super cool experience. I've never ridden an e-bike before. I tried riding a bike that had e-assist in the Netherlands, but I was too short. So that was the first time for a time you get places really fast and your legs never ache. I loved that I could take the kids right on the back seat with me. I didn't have to worry about like a bike trailer. I didn't have to worry about the little ones. They can't keep up. It's kind of cool. And they're just right there and there's like an awesome seatbelt for them. It has two batteries. So you could go a long ways. We rode, I don't even know how far we rode today. Eight miles. Eight miles and like it didn't go down one. No. So you can go a long ways on those two batteries, which is super awesome. We got a hitch rack with this, but we don't have a hitch on the bus. It does have this cool folding mechanism for if you're in a situation where you need it in a tighter space. There we go. It just folds up like a lot more compact. I think it goes more than that. Yeah. You it's need just... to fit it into a space where it just can't be so long. It takes away your length. It's still like pretty tall. Also these handlebars, they're kind of cool. There's a little lock, flips up, and then these come down. So you take away some of your height on there. So we both rotate. Bassini rode it too. The seat adjusts up and down. The backrest adjusts, the handlebars adjust, everything adjusts. So it's really versatile and love the basket on the front. And storage underneath. It's like super awesome.